coming up on the next episode. Well, good uh, Wednesday evening to you all at YouTube. It is uh, 6.39 now in the evening. Um, <laughs> you may notice there is one of these here and there's one of them here. Well, this is the old one over here. I haven't yet replaced it, but this is the new one. Uh, I went back and, and um, did some changes to it. Um, for one thing, I have the, uh, the hex on the other side all sized in. And I don't know how well you can see that. I'm going to put it up there. That uh, there's probably, I'd say at least uh, close to two millimeters of space between the actual bolt and the bottom of this. Um, that's more than enough space I need to uh, actually keep it away from the wooden part here. But also in addition to that, I'm going to put a piece of fish paper here. And that will bolt on here with this. And uh, it will stay in place that way. And uh, like I said, that's just what it looks like there as far as the uh, uh, connection here is concerned. Like I say, these do come out. And uh, the, uh, unfortunately, the washers don't. Well, I, guess, I guess it shouldn't be unfortunate. It, uh, actually, I want them in there. And uh, I like the, the bolt to stay too. That way it just... Uh, Put the, uh, what do you call it, on the wires and tighten it down and she'd be ready to go. So there you go. That's what it looks like there. And uh, all I've got to do now is basically take this one off and uh, sit this one down in between there like that. And put new holes in this one and then screw it back on. It will be done that quick. And uh, I, I had a, a time with the hex head. On this because um, it, it was not exactly what I thought it was going to be. Uh, let me show you here what I'm talking about. Now this, if you can look at that, I think you can see that it's oblong. It's uh, this is this has got more direct more uh, space in it than this way does. And you can see it. I turned this way. It does the same thing, but it's going this way now. But you can see. That uh, does not uh, work out very good. And the problem is, in Tinkercad, and I didn't notice it at first, obviously, uh, but there's two different points of measure on this. One is the uh, flat surfaces here, like this. Uh, there's a measurement there, across. And then the other one is crossed here, these points. So uh, I was trying to size them the same, and when you do, that gives the oblong... Uh, version of that. So what I ended up doing was I think made I made this one the uh, point across 11. I think this one 10, and that one came out just perfectly that way. That that came out uh, just exactly the way it was supposed to. Like this one here, I, I did a bunch of, uh, of these little small prints just to make sure I had it right, and uh, used the uh, bolt to make sure it fit in there really good, and it did. So there's what it looks like as size as it should be. And uh, so I, I then basically just took this piece here and um, I cut this off here where this uh, side is here. Cut that one off and then uh, I re redid the inside with this piece in there like that and centered it and made sure everything was perfectly centered and everything. And then I just copied it and mirrored it, put it over on the other side. So that's all I had to do there. And that's how it came out. It came out really good, I think. So I'm very pleased with it. Very pleased indeed. So like I said, the only thing I've got to do now is uh, basically put that in there and and drill some holes and get that uh, mounted in there and it will be ready to go. I do need to cut a piece of the fish paper. In fact, I've got to find the fish paper. Uh, I seen it the other day when I was looking for something else. So I'm sure it's here somewhere close by, I hope. So well, we'll get that done, and like I say, I'm only gonna make the fish paper about uh, all about that wide. As far as let's see, maybe maybe that wide, uh, and come across here like that because there's no sense in having it uh, all the way across and wasting it. So, like I said, there's that's what we're gonna do, and uh, that's what she'd be looking like. So happy about that, and uh, like I say, I have made. Many changes, <laughs> many, many changes to the uh, 
The actual, the uh, dual DC PS2 is not the dual DC PS2 anymore. It is the DC power supply. <laughs> and that's all it is. And uh, this, uh, you, you watched my uh, video, I think, yesterday, that uh, the bonus video that I put on. And you saw that uh, we are not going to be using the uh, secondary center tap at all. And we will just use the high voltage windings and use a a uh, full wave bridge rectifier uh, on it and uh, and we'll uh, use that and filter that with our, our filter and that's all we're going to have and there's no switch to it and that's going to eliminate another item that I didn't uh, really have a place for as far as <laughs> I mean I, I could have found a place for it but you know it's just I, I most of the stuff I had in my mind where I want to put it but that one I didn't Had to drink a have a drink of tea there. Uh, like I said, that one I didn't, and uh, so you know, basically, uh, that's the way that works. I did get some parts in today for for this, and I end up forgetting to bring them back in here. I'm going to go back into the living room in a minute, and I'll bring them back and show you. But uh, suffice to say, it's uh, stuff for this, as far as uh, connectors, things like that, and uh, then I've got some more coming as well. And when all that gets in here, I can start the wiring in earnest. I can I can start some of it now, but uh, like I said, I I just want to kind of wait until I get most of it in here before I get get into it too deep. And uh, so that's the way I'm going to do it. All right, let me uh, get some more things done, and let me show you a couple things. Like I said, this is uh, the uh, piece uh, dual, or <laughs> now I can't even think what's it's called DC power supply. It is going to be first up, and you can take a look at it here on the. Uh, uh, screen now uh, like I said there it is pretty simple not nothing complicated and uh, you know uh, that's the way that's going to work now I did change something around as far as this this box here is concerned originally I had uh, the two meter wall warts that would uh, power the meters for the DC power supply coming off of this but now I have them wired into the switch on this so that when you turn the switch on on the power supply it lights up the meters and that way you know it's the same as principle as having a uh, pilot light uh, in fact it's even better because when those lights are light up you know it's on and uh, so that's why I did that uh, I believe it was Jim Asbell pointed out it's probably a good idea to have something like that because uh, in case you leave it on or something but like I said if the uh, um, lights are lit up it is on so I know that so that's good. Uh, so that means one less, uh, actually two less uh, things going in here. I'm still going to have the same amount of uh, uh, things here because I still have to plug up the uh, the wall wart for the two amp connection, which will power all the other stuff. Um, not this, but the, the DC stuff. And I don't think there was any changes made to the DC or to the filament. In fact, I think that was the only changes made. But when I get to doing this, start drilling the holes. I'm going to do this one at a time. I'll do the, drill the um, this one first, get this all installed, completely installed, and then I'm going to work on the next thing. And I'm going to get that completely installed, and then I'm going to go on down the line, get things done one at a time until I get everything done. And once I get everything done and test the unit completely to make sure it's working as it should, and then I will take it all apart. Of course, I don't have to take this apart, but all the stuff off the panel and sand it down and paint it. And get that all ready to go so that's the way that's going to work so i thought we would uh, do that real quick and uh, well not real quick but uh, do that next and uh, like i say that's what we're going to try to do so um i don't know about friday what's going on friday but uh, uh i'm not really sure i did go out today today's been a it was a beautiful day it was 65 degrees here in, in seymour and uh, went and got uh, some drugs from cvs and did that and uh you know, took a little, took my time, nice little leisurely drive. Hadn't been out for a while, so. All right, that's what we did. So if I have any more, I'll bring you back, and we'll see you then. All right, well, as promised, here I am back again. I've got the uh, new uh, junction box in place. I put the uh, screw holes in there and put screws on it just to keep that straight. And that's that. Um, the... Uh, thing I was talking about was the uh, let me see if I can get this down here so you can see it I 
because you can see there's some uh, excess solder here. I'm going to take the soldering iron before we actually wire this up and get that excess solder off there. A little solder wick and get that nice and clean like it's supposed to be. The rest of them are, are in pretty good. That one's got a little bit on it too. We'll have to get some of that off that too. But that one's a. Uh, these are. Uh, some of these are going to be used for that. Um, and some of them are not. Let me see if I can get one of these out and show you. Alright, well I have one of these out. Now the, the way these work, these obviously are a piggyback. You have a, a connector on a connector. So you connect this here. And then that leaves this one here for another connection. Um, of course you don't have to have it that. You can, you can bend them at will and get them wherever you need them. But uh, I have one, another set that come in. It's called chair um, connectors that have two coming up on it. They're even better than these, but uh, these will do in a pinch. Like I say, if I don't, don't want to do that, I can do it this way. It, it, like I say, it's easy enough to do. But uh, like I say, this one and this one here are going to have to be cleaned off a little bit before we can really use it very well because of the uh, solder, excess solder on it. And we'll get that done. But uh, that's some of the connectors I'm using right there. Uh, the other ones, which will be used between uh, wiring, a uh, good, good example is the filter board, and that's going to run in a lot of different places. I'm going to use these bullet type uh, connectors here like this, and they have a, a male and a female. Here's the uh, female ends, but they are insulated, and like I say, that will keep the... Uh, that will that will keep the uh, electricity at bay. Uh, I will make sure I put this this end on the uh, end that has power coming out of it, and this one will go on the ends that get the power. So that will work as well, I do believe. Uh, I've got, like I said, a couple more uh, things coming in. One is the uh, different version of these. They're called chair. I think they they basically come down like this with two two uh, more spade terminals coming up on the sides and that's what they look like. So I've got those. I've got the ring terminals coming in for the wiring inside of here and uh, so I think that's gonna it's gonna be a good addition. Uh, I have some some more hardware coming in as well. Running a little bit low on some of this hardware that I have. Uh, I use a lot of hardware as you can see and uh, I like to have stuff on hand when I need to, to put something together. I was gonna print some but the printed Printed works okay, just it would be all right for something like this, but uh, it's not to, for something like this. I don't think I could trust uh, printed, so I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, that's what's going on. Uh, not gonna make a, a long one here. I just wanted to kind of bring you back and show you those pieces that I got, and uh, gotta find a place to put those because I thought those bags were reseal sealable, but they're not. Uh, I wish they were, but uh, very quick shipping on this. I was happy about that. Uh, this place uh, off eBay, uh, so like I say, there, there's what it looks like. But uh, I forget now the uh, Highway 325 or 325 Highway or something like that. I'll, I'll try to put up a, a link to them very quick um, on the connectors and stuff. So, all right, that's going to do me. You guys, in the meantime, have a good evening. Thank you so so much for watching, and we will see ya. Thank you.